Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. So basically, we are back with another more cooking video. Yay! <laughs> uh, if you didn't watch our last video, our last video should be up there. Tanya basically said, actually, we both kind of agreed that we're going to make shepherd's pie. No, you because... said it in the last video. Yeah, because you... you I back... guessed it up. Yeah, you guessed it up. Also, if you want to um, check out my makeup look, all the details and that, I have uploaded an Instagram video, so make sure you guys check it out. <laughs> Come closer. I have a bowl because I'm going to be making mashed potato by actual real potatoes. Yes, I didn't buy a ready-made one. So we're going to have one egg. You can get any egg. We're going to have butter. You can have unsalted butter because this requires a lot of salt and stuff. So if you don't want to add salt, you don't have to. And cheese. Use cheddar cheese. Okay. Then we also have our minced meat and we're going to basically start prepping. That's basically all you need. And potatoes and carrots, but that's your own choice of vegetables. Wait, what vegetables are we prepping? Today? So, can we get some carrots, please? Can we get some peas, please? Can we get some potatoes, please? And um, what did you say? The last one? Oh, and some peas, onions. Peas. Please pray we have onions. If we don't have peas, onions. Easier. Yeah. Garden peas in water already. And then what did the last thing? Onions, right? Not that. So this is going to be the boring bit and I will fast forward it. But what I'm going to do while Ryan goes and studies for a little while is just get the prep ready. So all you want to do is peel your potatoes and peel your carrots and any other vegetable you'd like to add. Kidney beans, sweet corn, um, peppers, tomatoes. We're not going that extravagant because I'm trying to keep it as a simple, easy, quick dish, you know? I'm going to watch Massey. If anyone else is with me oh. watching Massey, all my days actually, if you guys have been watching it, there's a lot of like controversialness around it for being like um, against God and stuff like that. But I feel like it's got a very good concept. Alright guys, so we're basically going to be peeling the potatoes now, so just keep your chopped um, carrots to the side. Peel the potatoes and then put the potatoes to boil and make sure they go soft for the mashed potato. I actually hate peeling potatoes like this because they're too small and like they just take so much longer to boil, so I mean to cut, I mean to peel. I'm speaking English. Guys, so basically this is taking me a bit long to do the peeling. So I am going to transfer over to my hand to do the peeling. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to do the minced meat. So basically what we're going to do is cut one onion, one large onion. Um, it's up to you if you want to put onion in your um, shepherd's pie. But I like the curry feel. I don't know why, but I like the curry feel. So I'm just going to cut one onion up. Let's see who starts crying first, me or I. No, I'm not talking about mashed potatoes. Just normal potatoes. Yeah, normal potatoes. Yeah. Okay. You know what's so funny? I'm crying from the onions and I'm crying from this lighting as well. So I'm just going to put in a dash of olive oil. That's a dash fam, that's like a pork. Just to let you know, you guys don't need to boil your carrots, it will cook within the oven. I just boiled it because I wanted it to be extra soft and I added so many carrots, but carrots are good for you, so can't really go wrong with it. Potatoes that I've peeled so far yeah, I with a couple that Tanya done earlier. Is that a bit more? Yeah, a bit more. Like How many would you four say? More. Four more. Alright guys, I'm going to start putting in my onions now. So the onions are really good. And we're going to just let them get nice and brown before we add in anything. Just going to put some salt so it melts quicker. This is my salt pot guys, I've obviously replaced it. Like, I put it in another box, but I feel like this has lasted us so long. What do you think? I have no, it's actually, we moved in, we bought it. It's literally in our first ever household shop. Crazy. No, that's it, man. No more. I can't bother to do anymore. My hands are hurting. Alright, so this is our potato bowls. I added a lot because I feel like our glass tray is quite large, so we would need quite a few. Do you oh. want to cut, that, cut these for me? Yeah, how do you want them cut? Basically, guys, I'm going to show a trick. If you cut them like this, one, two, and keep it three, it's easier for it to boil so that we can start mushing it quicker. Sorry, Mr. Tall Guy. What is it, baby? I'm just watching, making sure you do. This is probably the best way to teach someone to cook. 
record it. Like, make, do it. Yeah, basically. So guys, we just put the potatoes into the um, boiler. Well, boiling water. Boiling water. The boiler, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the boiling water. And we're gonna put what a teaspoon of salt. And you're just gonna let that boil, guys. Make sure it's soft because you want your mashed potato to be soft. Um, where's the lid? So that can go. Ryan is now gonna help tidy up because he's such a gentleman. Put me a rubbish that on something like this. Yeah. Literally, yeah, make it easy for you. just grab and go. Alright, guys. Now I'm gonna add in our beef. Cut in our minced meat until they go brown. So don't worry about flavour yet, let them just cook it all out. It gets all the flavour out. Meats, minced meat. Fuck what are you no, saying? Can you say that again, please? Really, really, really. I'm gonna put the Maggie stock cube in our minced meat produces more water. I'm only going to put one bay leaf in the bay leaf. Bay leaf. Bay leaf. That's bay leaves. Into the minced meat. I'm gonna put the temperature down. Just add one just to like smell a bit better. Also, I'm going to cut up some tomatoes. So I'm just gonna cut up some tomatoes. Yeah, that's what I was big. So it's basically brown, it's just cooked, it has no flavour now. What I'm going to do is just add this and let this stock cube melt in. Um, our potatoes, I want it to be very, very soft. That's the only reason why I've just kind of left them on. Because if they don't become as mushy as we want it, then it won't be mashed potato. Why didn't we use something like this? It won't taste right, you know? All right, guys, so now I'm going to... Whoa, that was literally like two minutes, babe. Come on, are you serious? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> so, garam masala, you ready? If ready. If you do not have any at your house, please ask your mum. Garam masala. We need some hot chilli powder. I don't know about calculations, but this is how much I'm putting on my spoon. Okay, and this. <laughs> That's quite a bit, though. And now, once you mix it up, that should be enough. Bear in mind, guys, there's a bit more over there that you can't see in the camera. All right, haldi powder, which is also in English. Haldi powder. Tumeric. Is it not called haldi powder in English? Uh, oh my god, I should just lot. shut up whilst I And then we're going to add in salt, pepper, and basil, not thyme, because my hand don't like thyme. Uh, Time and me. No, that's looking proper. That's looking like some moisture filling right there. You want to mix it? You got one hand. <laughs> Topping up everything as you're going along. Let me just empty this out and be right back, yeah. Like mix it at the same time, yeah? Alright guys, we're back. I just put in the peas and all of that as well. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. This has been like cooking for about five minutes or so. Yeah, so, so we're just going to leave it for a little bit longer. But on a very low heat. Um, I'm going to just get these all out of the way for now. And I'll show you what we are doing with our potatoes. Can you see? Put our potato in a bowl. We're going to... Ah, uh, this is a bit flim, isn't it? No, it's just, yeah, just stab it. I got another one. Oh, the silver one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, use this. This, this is what we use for butter, isn't it? We'll just use this, yeah. We're, we're doing this really bad. We should, you should have the stompy one. It's like a, I don't know what, what okay. it's called. Okay, while Ryan does the mushing, because he got more strength than me, I'm just going to put this camp, actually, I'm just going to take you guys with me. Mush this, yeah. Take unsalted if you would like. And we're going to take a spoon like this. No, you have to make it like... Creamy, this ain't creamy. Uh, where it looks like right now. Oh, that's looking a lot more like 
Juicy. Mm, yeah, like I golden. Like this, yeah. Let's get mixing a bit more, I think. Feel great. That is looking so good right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't even resist but lick your fingers. What's happening with the cheese again? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there. So this is the. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that looks so cute. It looks like a little fairy cake or cupcake, whatever it's called. What are they called? Fairy cake. So guys, just put a bit of cheese in there. We just got mild cheddar cheese over here. Um, and because just... we bought this actually for another cooking video and then we didn't end up using it. So then I was so happy that we had it because we're not really big cheese eaters, you know? So guys, what we got in here basically is the egg yolk, the salt, pepper, the cheese, the butter, and obviously the potato as well. But yeah, no, this is coming out proper good, I think. All right, guys, we're gonna start preparing. This is my favorite bit. Just give this one more round of mixing. Be careful with the things hot, yeah, on both of them still. That one carrot, oh my god, baby, you must be hungry. Just let me eat it. Oh, I dropped this in. So in lasagna, it's the different levels, layers. But in shepherd's pie? Mm -hmm. Move this over. Be careful, that's extremely hot. Really, really hot. And in the oven it cooks. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Joking, we'll be back. Feed your cameraman some. It has a real egg yolk in it. That's what it's <laughs> going to be like. You got a crazy. I swear that is honestly, I think it's cooked to perfection. Near enough, isn't it? Yeah, I swapped it over because I wanted this side to be more brown as well. But yeah, it didn't happen because no, no, the oven is being Dang. I'll be the man of the house. I know, as you all want me to be. Feeling that. Yeah, we're having a big slice. Don't judge us. A quarter of the whole pot. That's how much I'll eat. That is looking. Oh, you know how I know I'm not functioning right now? Guys, I usually have everything ready, like the water besides us and like all of that stuff. And you just feel like. I'm not gonna be by him a lot. I don't think I'd hate him, but. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay, moment of truth. Whoa. Where the gravy went, it made the dish flat. Uh, okay, initially when I had it, I loved it. I like the carrot. The meat itself is so nice, but when I went into the gravy bit, because the gravy is so hot, that like, can really just made the dish come back to life. You know why I'm closing my eyes in that here? Because normally I can't lie, I'm, I'm quite taste, like I don't really, I can't really taste the taste. I think taste, it's because and you're nose. focusing about the taste. Mm. This well, like, time round. Like I'm actually making you I love it. think about it. You're the type of person to just eat to survive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not really like into like flavours and this tastes well with this and I haven't even worn this top out yet. The carrots are done proper, like I don't it's not like a crunch. There's no crunch. Good, that's how it should be. All the different layers, but if there was these this like in four layers yeah, I swear that would be like No no no, there's quite a lot. You want all of this, idea? Okay, like, that's yeah. interesting. I should make that one day. We need to make this year, but like double layer or something like that. With like 
different stuff in all of them. Guys, I'm done, yeah? What? Hmm? I'm gonna have more later on, don't you worry. Yeah, I used to talk to my friends in the house phone. They're so weird, man. I can't believe mm. I used to do that. House phone. That was like up until... That was like latest up until like nine or something. No. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven, yeah, the eight. Yeah, I'm one year older, isn't it? Mm. When my brother like, took my phone, yeah? Because <laughs> I was being naughty. I literally called all my friends in the house line and it was actually so sick. <laughs> no, 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 no. For me. No, no. For me. No, when they had that Please little... don't. Go and do it yeah. and get back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You that little disclaimer thing that they have to put up. <laughs> Is there any food on my face? Sorry. No, 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 we're all good. Let's go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this cooking video. Um, we're going to have, well, I'm going to have seconds because I'm still a bit hungry, but... I just want to kind of chill in silence. This is like your third babe. <laughs> anyway. Anyways guys, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can receive a post when we post. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you do all the things that are in the description box below.